So could Spencer Strider be in line to set a record? What record am I talking about? I'm talking about the single season strikeout record for the Atlanta Braves. Now, let, let's preface this when, when we say this, okay? Uh, and by the way, Strider does have the highest strikeouts per nine innings ever for a Braves pitcher, 13 and a half last year. Now, when you look at the single season strikeout totals for the Braves as a franchise, right? This is including Boston, Milwaukee, and Atlanta, okay? So you have Charlie Buffington, right? from 1884 is number one with 417 strikeouts. I'm guessing he pitched about 450 innings because that's what those guys did back then. Jim Whitney is number two at eight, uh, with, in 1883 with 345 strikeouts. And then Jordan Clarkson, who is a Hall of Fame pitcher, by the way, 1889 with 284. So let's eliminate the 19th century, literally the 19th century players, and let's focus on more modern 20th century and 21st century types of players, okay? Smoltzy has the record for the Atlanta Braves franchise, as far as the Atlanta Braves go, um, but he's fourth overall on the Braves all-time franchise list. 276 strikeouts. Um, Jim Whitney, who is also had in 1884, he had 270 strikeouts. Then Nuxi has the number six and number seven strikeout totals for a season, 262 and 77, 248 and 78. So if we just focus on modern day, Smoltz is at 276 and 96. Negro's at 262 and 77. And Nuxie's also in 78 at 248. Do I think that Spencer Strider could definitely break a record like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Even if Strider gets to 180 innings, I definitely think that he could break that 276 mark that that Smoltzy has, and that is well within grasp. I'll even ask this question, okay? If there was a way for Spencer Strider to get to 200 innings, and I know that in today's modern baseball, you know, we talk about all of these records that are not likely to fall or, or milestones that are not likely to be reached, right? We talk about 300 wins and different things like that, right? pitchers winning not just 300 games, but pitchers pitching 200 innings a year is something that we don't see a whole lot of, right? But if Strider could find a way, and I think that this is very doable, if he could find a way to be 180, 200 innings, could he be a 300 strikeout pitcher? Now, 300 strikeouts was a, a little bit more regular in the 70s and 80s to 90s, right? We saw J.R. Richards, Sandy Koufax, Nolan Ryan do that. And then Randy Johnson, I think Kurt Schilling had a year. I think Pedro uh, had a year. Chris Sale has been a 300 strikeout pitcher, right? So there are modern guys that are, you know, not not 1884 types of players. The Ryans and the Nolan, the Nolan Ryans and, and, you know, Koufax and J.R. Richard and Randy Johnson, guys like that that are more modern types of pitchers. I wonder if Strider, if he couldn't find a way to pitch 180 to 200 innings, couldn't be a 300 strikeout pitcher. Obviously, he's got immense swing and miss stuff. Again, last year, he set the Braves franchise record with 13 and a half strikeouts per nine innings. And you figure he had nine strikeouts in six innings the other day. I don't think there's anything. I, I think that now that he's got everything kind of figured out and look. There'll be bumps and stuff like that on the road, on the way, you know, on this kind of journey that he's got. There's always going to be a pothole or two that eventually some of the league will catch up. But Strider stuff is so magnificent that it's such good swing and miss stuff. And that plays in to modern era baseball. The, the fact is, is that modern era baseball isn't about contact. It's about hitting the ball as hard as you can, hitting the ball out of the park as far as you can and everything else be damned. Walks, patience, batting average, moving a runner along, hitting hitting the other hitting the other way, putting a ball to the wall to hit a double. That's all by the wayside now. That we don't have the the, the league isn't filled up with the Tony Gwynns and the Rod Carews and all that kind of stuff anymore, right? Guys are not in that mindset. 
Guys are exit velocity. How far can I hit it? And they'll take the sacrifice of striking out because everybody strikes out now, right? I mean, if you're not 140, 150 strikeouts as a batter, that's just kind of normal in today's baseball. But you look at Strider, who if he if he pitched 180 innings, I don't think there's any doubt that he wouldn't have 200 more than 276 strikeouts in a season. And that's what the record is for, for Smoltzy, 276 with the Braves. If we don't count 19th century, Braves franchise record. So could Strider even be a 300 strikeout pitcher? I don't see why not. He's got the stuff for it. He's got all the swing and miss stuff. It plays into what modern baseball is. Everything about Strider, and, and look, Strider's one of these guys that wants the ball, right? Strider's, I don't think Strider is one of these guys that is a five-inning just type of pitcher. I think Strider's one of those guys that you give the ball to and you feel like your bullpen has a minimal amount of work to be done, right? I think he can be a six to maybe even seven-inning type of pitcher. I don't know that he's necessarily an innings eater because nobody's an innings eater nowadays. And you're just trying to find at least six innings out of a starter. But if you figure if he gets 30 starts and he pitches six innings to start, he's going to have 180 innings. I don't think 276 strikeouts is all that unfathomable. I don't I don't think that that's a lofty goal to try to hit. So we talked about last year at the start of the season that I thought that the Braves would set their franchise record for strikeouts by a pitching staff. Well, they did that. And obviously Strider was one of those guys that he came up and obviously he just he took over, you know, uh, that, that staff and just he was a 200 strikeout pitcher. Now I want to see, honestly, I want to see if he could be a 300 strikeout guy. If he could be a modern day Randy Johnson, Nolan Ryan, J.R. Richard, Chris Sale kind of pitcher that just racks up strikeout after strikeout after strikeout. Now, again, J.R. Richard, Nolan Ryan, those are guys that would pitch 300 innings. Right. I mean, back in the old days of, you know, hand a guy a baseball and if he's your starter, you expect him to pitch seven, eight, nine innings out there and, and complete a whole bunch of games. Not expecting him to do that. But even at six innings a start and he gets, say, 30, 32 starts, he could certainly be in that 276 mark. So watch out for that particular number when it comes to Spencer Strider as he chases down potentially the all time strikeout record. I certainly think that the 276 is very doable. And if he beats John Smoltz's record, look, he could be potentially a 300 strikeout guy when all is said and done. All right, let's talk about our friends over at Built Bar as the obviously the tournament wrapping up here tonight. But you can still get in on the action at BuiltMarchMadness.com and vote for your favorite bar or puff. Go to BuiltMarchMadness.com, vote for your favorite bar or puff, no matter what type. It is out there. And then you could be registered to win a box of Built Bars. We're going to give 50 Lucky Locked On listeners a free box of Built Bars. And one fan, one Lucky Locked On fan, is going to win a 12-month subscription where you're going to have Built Bars delivered right to your home. So head to BuiltMarchMadness.com today. Vote for your favorite bar or puff, 4 grams of sugar, 130 calories, 17 grams of protein, whether you want the texture and the flavor of the protein-infused marshmallow puffs, whether you want traditional protein bars as is, vote for your favorites today at BuiltMarchMadness.com. Check out, obviously, at Built.com, all of the selection of all the different protein bars that they have available, but register to win a free box of Built Bars or that 12-month subscription by going to Built.com today and BuiltMarchMadness.com. Vote for your favorites.